Hello, hello again. So here I am in the living room and the reason why I sat down to film this video because I just realized something very interesting and I guess that is what all these videos are all about is that I realize stuff about everyday life but I guess what I realized today is especially interesting and that is that minimalism so trying to find reason in what you have and trying to find really the things that matter to you instead of the things that you think you need and, and you don't need so stuff like that really made me less into organization which is very strange because i have been into organization since about the age of 10 and that is when i realized i guess that my surroundings matter and that i have power over what I am surrounded by, not what I am surrounded by, but how I am surrounded by things. And that is when I started organizing and, and I really had a passion for that. But the weird thing is that even when we got into this apartment, the first time, so when we moved in, I just unpacked my stuff, stuff that was in my two suitcases, and that's it. I didn't get into reorganizing the apartment, although that is what I definitely would have done about even three years ago. I would have got into this apartment, I may have rearranged the furniture, and I definitely would have rearranged everything. As I've said, the only thing that I did was I unpacked all my clothes, and I put away the stuff that was in this apartment and that I knew that we wouldn't use ever, like an orange press or things like that. And I think I even sighed when I realized that I needed to put away some stuff that wasn't really useful for us. I felt like I'm just reorganizing stuff that otherwise we don't really need, so what is the point? And I started wondering why that is. As I've said, I've been really into organization. I have been really craving a space where everything has its place. And I always had this urge to put away the stuff that I don't need at the moment. My room was very messy, so it took a really long time to organize that room. I don't know if you can imagine, maybe you grew up with even more mess, maybe you grew up with less, but in my room there were about 40 stuffed animals right next to the bed, so the bed was right next to the wall, so in between the wall and the bed there were a lot of stuffed animals, everywhere there were a lot of toys, papers, books. It took a really long time to even clean up the floor so that the floor wouldn't have any objects that don't belong there. Plus I had a really bad habit of always leaving my clothes on the floor. That really made just the whole thing more difficult and a lot more messy. So that took a long time to organize and the ironic thing is that the room had a lot of closet space so it should have been able to hold all that stuff. At that point I was not really getting rid of anything, I just put away everything. But I realized that the closets were not properly organized, therefore the space that was in the closets was not used well. I am still surprised to this day how a lot of people don't really know how to put away stuff. At least I learned that. And that is the reason why I am always packing things into the fridge, into the small fridge that we have that cannot really hold a lot of things. So I always manage to make space by making things organized. And it also took a long time to organize my drawers. You maybe cannot even imagine what was going on in the drawers. Well, the drawers had all the smallest objects that you can imagine <laughs> that were not on the floor. There were pencils, erasers. There was also a time when I was into keychains when I was little. So little stuffed animal keychains and stuff like that. And maybe if you have experience with cluttered drawers, they tend to get really dirty as well. Small items can gather dust very easily. So that is why they were dirty as well. And I was very proud of myself that I started to make little compartments into my drawers out of old chocolate boxes and old 
just small boxes, but I made them pretty first with wrapping paper. I covered them with wrapping paper. That made my drawers look really cool. <laughs> These little compartments had really cool colors and they held all my stuff very neatly. So then my obsession with organizing seeped into other areas of my life. I started really organizing everything that I needed to do regarding school, regarding homework. This is a huge advantage when it comes to school, if you can organize information well. That I can do. That I'm really good at. And I think that it is partly because I was so good at organizing a lot of the items that were in my room. That is how I improved myself in that area. And that is how I also could um, make really good illustrations into my thesis at university. So definitely that is what is interesting about living a cluttered life because I feel like getting out of that clutter really gave me skills that are useful in other areas of life as well. And I always got a certain feeling when I was organizing and even when I was organizing stuff for school that I felt really excited and happy and I still get this feeling and I was always rubbing my hands together like a little raccoon so enthusiastically that I was able to manage something that had an actual result. And I still get this feeling, interestingly enough, about organizing information and about making something smart. I don't get that feeling about organizing items anymore. Because I really implemented that philosophy that if you really need to organize something and if you really need to organize it for long and long hours, then probably you should start with decluttering because there's probably a lot of stuff that you don't really need in there. And that is why I think I don't get that exciting, happy feeling anymore when I have to organize something that I knew wouldn't be useful, because I just don't see the point. But I also realized that back then, when I really loved organizing, I was always restless in a place, in a space. You know, I always wanted to organize it, I always wanted to find a new, better way of how the furniture could be arranged, or how the different items could be arranged. But now I feel really calm and I'm not always trying to figure out how to rearrange the furniture. Now I don't really have that feeling anymore. Feeling that something is not right because that is what I was feeling in my opinion. I really had too much stuff but I didn't realize that and the only way to solve that problem was by organizing but that didn't really solve the problem that just made the problem look like it wasn't there. And an added advantage of this is that Organizing takes so much time and now that I don't really organize anymore, I feel like I have a lot more time. I am not always busy taking care of my things. That is what I realized today. I would be really interested if maybe you have a similar feeling to mine because I was really surprised about that. I think I read somewhere that this might happen if you start to minimize the amount of stuff that you have, but I didn't realize it up until now or, or it just happened. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow with another little adventure and have a very nice day. So I've been wandering around Louvre and, uh, and its neighborhood to find a decent place to film, but I didn't manage that. I even came to the Jardin de Palais Royal or something like that. This is it. Which is usually less populated by tourists. Here I am and there are lots of tourists. Even though yesterday the city was so peaceful that I thought it would be a lot easier to find places to film from now on, well, <laughs> up until December, when the Christmas craze starts. But there is also wind sometimes, which I don't think will be making for a good audio. So that is the reason why, oh yeah, and the construction. So that is the reason why I am not going to film this. There is the wind. That is the reason why I'm not going to film this video outside even though I love making videos outside because I think they are because I think they are really great I think there is something soothing about nature so let's find a place where 
we could go out. So I managed to get out of the Palais Royale. And uh, by the way, the reason why I'm always looking for parks and little seating areas like that, it is much, much quieter. Because maybe you can hear that, and I don't know how it is with other districts, but this particular one is very loud. <laughs> <laughs> 